Hello, I'm Madeleine Bennett, editor of The Inquirer, and I'm here today at Cisco House at the Olympic Park in Stratford, and I'm joined by Neil Crockett, Managing Director for London 2012 for Cisco. Hi Neil. Hi Madeleine. Thanks very much for having us here today. Oh, it's a pleasure. And uh, you're going to take us on a tour of the house and show us all of the innovative technology on show, featuring well, here. Actually, that's the big surprising thing about Cisco House. There isn't actually any technology on show. The Cisco House is really designed to be something that's fun and innovative, and it's really about um, how the story here is about how the network as a platform of the plumbing is really becoming central to how companies and cities and countries think about business transformation. So Cisco House is about letting you experience things that are business relevant delivered by the network platform. So Sunil, good morning. Good morning to you too. And where are you based? Where are you talking from? I'm actually based in Bedford Lakes, which is just near Heathrow. That's fantastic. And the whole point about Sunil is he and many other people like him are actually experts for the house but based remotely. And the point is that the network can now deliver experts to a point of need without them having to be there. So Cisco House is full of surprises for our guests and one of the big surprises is how involved Cisco is around the world in helping communities and countries transform their lives. And what we have here on the screen, which Matt's demonstrating, is a whole video wall which lets you pick certain things like the legacy we're leaving for London after the Olympics or how we're helping countries and communities around the world. And actually guests can choose the video they want to watch. We've got about 40 videos that people can check into of things Cisco's doing around the world. Matt here is demonstrating virtual shopping, which is something that John Lewis are deploying in Oxford Street at the moment, which is a big breakthrough in terms of the retail business model. And what we see here is Matt can shop virtually, he can try clothes on, he can actually press a photograph of what he's wearing and share that with his friends. This is the whole generation of mobile uh, affecting retail business models and how you can bring video and e-commerce together uh, to actually um, to give a different customer experience or even to save inventory that you're carrying in the shop. So what our customers experience in here, first of all, is a 3D movie which explains and shows them how business transformation is happening right now today using the network as a platform. And we give several case studies and we have a very famous narrator who brings us through a, a journey of what's happening today. Customers then come through um, this area which is what we call the innovation tunnel, which basically explains and goes through how Cisco has been an innovative company right from its very startup and gives a bit of history. And when we come through the tunnel, we come into a, an IMAX area. And this is a completely different zone. This is a zone not talking about the present or what's happening today, but actually talking about what's going to happen just over the horizon in the future. Things like data deluge, the internet of things, transforms, transformation in many industries, how video is going to be important in the future, how expertise will change, things like that that are really sparking off. Again, all in business language, not in technology jargon, trying to make it relevant to those business leaders that will be our guests. So now we move outside of Cisco House and we've got this gorgeous view over the Olympic Park. It's actually, I mean, it is one of the highlights of the Cisco House for sure. And what we're doing out here is we're actually um, on this screen. We're looking and showing how Cisco and our technology partners like BT and Atos and the Games are helping to enable the Games and, and, and make it work. 